electric potential and potential difference. If we keep one tank A with water at higher level and another tank B having water at lower level and join them with a pipe then water will flow from tank A with water at higher level to tank B with water at lower level till the water level becomes same in both the tanks. Electric potential is the electric or charge level at a particular point. In the given figure, there are two conductors. A at higher potential denoted by positive sign and B at lower potential denoted by negative sign. Just as water flows from a higher level to a lower level due to height difference, in the same way charge flows from higher potential level to lower potential level that is potential difference. If the two conductors are joined with a wire, the current will flow from A to B till the potentials of both the conductors become same. The current will stop flowing when the potential difference between the two ends of the wire becomes zero. Conventionally, the flow of current is taken opposite to the direction of flow of electrons. No current flows when the copper wire is coiled in the form of loop. But the moment this wire is connected to the terminals of a battery, a potential difference is imposed between the ends of the loop and the current starts flowing. Potential difference PD The potential difference between two points in an electric field is defined as the amount of work done in moving a unit positive charge from one point to another point. In other words, potential difference is equal to the work done per unit quantity of charge transferred or V equals to W upon Q. 1 volt. If 1 joule of work is done in moving 1 coulomb of electric charge from one point to another, then the potential difference between those two points is said to be 1 volt. Small voltages are measured in terms of millivolts and microvolts, whereas large voltages are measured in terms of kilovolts and megavolts. 1 millivolt equals to 10 raised to the power minus 3 volt. 1 microvolt equals to 10 raised to the power minus 6 volt. 1 
kilo volt equals to 10 raised to the power 3 volt 1 mega volt equals to 10 raised to the power 6 volt example find the amount of work done if a charge of 4 coulomb flows through a conductor when a potential difference of 6 volt is applied across the terminals of the conductor given quantity of charge equals to Q equals to 4 coulomb potential difference equals to V equals to 6 volt work done is to be calculated formula V equals to W upon Q or W equals to VQ calculation putting the values of charge and potential difference in the formula we get W equals to 4 coulomb multiplied by 6 volt equals to 24 joules the amount of work done is 24 joules resistance and Ohm's law when electrons flow from one part of a conductor to the other they collide with other electrons and atoms and ions present in the conductor due to these collisions there is some obstruction or opposition to the flow of electrons through the conductor this property of the conductor due to which it opposes the flow of current is called resistance numerically it is equal to the ratio of potential difference across its ends to the amount of current flowing through it that is V upon I conductors and insulators substances which have very low electrical resistance are called conductors for example metals like copper silver aluminium etc substances which have very high electrical resistance are called insulators for example rubber wood glass etc according to ohm's law the electric current flowing in a metallic conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across its terminals provided physical conditions of the conductor such as length area of cross-section temperature and material remain constant if I is the current flowing and V is the potential difference across the ends of a conductor then V is directly proportional to I that is V equals to I R or V upon I equals to R R is the resistance which is constant 
for a given conductor in given conditions and its SI unit is ohm. 1 ohm. If 1 volt potential difference is applied across the two ends of a conductor with 1 ampere of current flowing through it, then its resistance is 1 ohm. Example Calculate the potential difference across a resistance of 5 ohm if the current flowing through the resistor is 0 0.4 ampere given resistance equals to R equals to 5 ohm current equals to I equals to 0 0.4 ampere potential difference is to be calculated formula V equals to I R calculation putting the values in the formula we get V equals to 0 0.4 ampere into 5 ohm therefore V equals to 2 volts or potential difference across the resistance is 2 volts. Heating effect of electric current The current flowing through a metallic conductor causes the free moving electrons to collide with the atoms and ions of the metal leading to conversion of part of their kinetic energy into heat. This results in production of heat energy in a conductor due to the electric current flowing through it and this phenomenon is known as the heating effect of the current. Joule's law If I is the current passed through a conductor for time t, then Q equals to I t and V be the potential difference across the two ends of a conductor of resistance R then by Ohm's law I equals to V upon R or V equals to I R as potential difference is the work done represented by W during flow of charge Q then V is equal to work done upon charge work is given by potential difference multiplied by charge or W equals to V Q on replacing V with I R and Q with I T W equals to I R multiplied by I T or W equals to I square RT using Ohm's law that equals to VIT. The current flowing through the conductor converts the work done I square RT into heat which can be calculated as W equals to I square RT joule. The relation between joule and calorie is 4.18 joule equals to 1 calorie. Hence, heat produced in a conductor in terms of calories 
is given by h equals to i square rt upon 4.18 calories Joule's law can be stated as the quantity of heat H generated in a conductor of resistance R when a current I flows through it for time T is directly proportional to 1 the square of the current 2 the resistance of the conductor and 3 the time for which the current flows according to ohm's law we can write h equal to i square rt upon 4.18 calories that equals to v square t upon R 4.18 calories which is again equal to V I T upon 4.18 calories applications of heating effect of electric current although heating in an electric circuit increases the temperature of the components altering their properties adversely it also has many useful applications such as when the tungsten filament with melting point 3380 degrees centigrade in an electric bulb becomes hot it emits light the bulbs are filled with chemically inactive gases like nitrogen and argon which prevent oxidation of the filament thus prolonging its life an electric ion consists of a heavy metal block enclosing a coil of high resistance covered by mica sheets which are bad conductors of electricity but good conductors of heat when an electric current is passed through the coil it gets heated and we can iron clothes with it the mica sheets prevent the current from entering into the metal block thus protecting the user from getting an electrical shock the fuse used in electric circuits consists of a piece of wire made of an alloy with low melting point for example lead and tin if a current larger than the specified limit flows through the circuit the temperature of the fuse wire increases causing melting of the wire and thus the circuit breaks the fuses used for domestic purposes are rated as 1 ampere 2 ampere 3 ampere 5 ampere 10 ampere etc working of electric furnaces soldering cutting drilling welding etc are based on heating effect of electric current in surgery a fine heated platinum wire is used for precise cutting of tissues example a geyser generates 3000 calories of heat when 2 ampere current passes through it 
for 15 seconds. Calculate the resistance of the geyser. Given heat generated equals to H equals to 3000 calories. Current equals to I equals to 2 amperes. Time equals to T equals to 15 seconds. Resistance R is to be calculated. Formula H equals to I square RT upon 4.18. Calculation Putting the values in the formula, we get 3000 equals to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by R multiplied by 15 upon 4.18 or R equals to 3000 multiplied by 4.18 upon 2 multiplied by 2 into 15. Therefore, R equals to 209 ohm. Thus, resistance of geyser is 209 ohm.